everybody, it's Lucky Beat here, also known as Joanne, and today I'm going to be doing an updated makeup tutorial for autumn makeup. <laughs> I don't know why I just done this, but autumn makeup. I am sorry about my hair, I did wash it this morning, so it's slightly damp as well. So <coughs> let's get on with the video, I guess. If I keep looking this way, by the way, it's just because I've got a mirror here. First I'm going to go in with this primer I got from Primark. Um, it's a hydrating recovery primer and it's meant to be cooling. And I just put that on with my hands. <coughs> I can't stop. I just ache, so it's all like stuck in my throat. So if I cough, I'm really sorry. <laughs> right. The next thing is foundation. What do I do, brows? The next thing is brows. So I've recently got this brow pencil. It's an MUA brow pencil. And it's in brunette. It has my eyebrow hairs on it, which is so nice. I've used it once before, so yeah. I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows a bit. I'm actually really scared of eyebrow pencils. So, I don't like going too <clears throat> heavy with it. Oh. Next, I will go in with a Primark eyebrow gel thing. But it is upstairs. And I'm not walking back upstairs because I've got limited time to film this. The so next I'm going to go in with the Revolution Makeup Foundation Stick in F3. I don't know if this is going to be backwards but it's an F3. And I'm just going to apply this on my face and blend it out with my wet beauty blender. Beauty blender. I realised I haven't put any lip product down. That's fine. Because I can go get that. Because <laughs> everything is on point. Crap's are looking Gucci. Sharp is all I wanted. Suits me. So. So I'm not disturbing the brows that i just done, I'm going to take the Real Techniques, I think this is the detailer brush, I'm just going to take some of the foundation and go around my brows. Normally I would do this with concealer, but <laughs> I felt like doing a foundation today so that is what we are going to do. Boom. You probably can't tell the difference that I've got foundation on and that I've got concealer around my eyebrows. But, to me, I can't. So, we're just going to go with it. Next, I'm going to go in with my Revolution Conceal and Define. This, this is in C5. You'll see a running theme. I like 
I just got concealer on my trousers. Only a little bit, it's fine. Oh, it's dried anyway. I have nothing to wipe it on. You'll see a running theme with Revolution products because I like Revolution products. They are my favourite drugstore brand. Or brand in general. I don't really have any high end stuff. Only MAC and I have one Tarte palette. Right. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to powder that. So, again, going on with the Revolution Imogen palette. This is the highlight to the moon palette. I'm going to take... Um, the first banana powder on the Duo Fiber Contour Brush by Real Techniques and just pat it, oh, not in your eye, but under your eye. Right, so that's done. You will see that palette later. Right. Next, I'm going to powder my actual face with... This is the Too True powder. I'm not going to lie, I've had this for a while. But, I'm too lazy to buy more powder. And it's a pressed powder. So we'll just ignore it and go with it. And I'm just putting that on with the Real Techniques buffing brush, but all the writing's come off, so it's buffing. Is that what it actually says? But right, so that's that done. Put that in there. I'll pop these there. Next, I'm going to go in with a... It's an eye primer, but it's like concealer. I got it from Tesco, so well, I didn't even buy it. But I've had it for a while. But it just helps cancel out all the veins in my eye. And I would use concealer. But that's the effort. And that's using my concealer. And it's really hard to find my actual shade of concealer. So I'm just blending that in with a beauty blender. Ow. And I'm going to set that again with the banana powder and the same brush if I can find it. Okay, so next I'm going to start the eyes. My mirror just fell down. It's all going to pop. Soap palette, but it's the first one. I do have the second one, but <clears throat> for today's look, I'm going for the first one. Because why not? First off, I'm going to use Cup of Tea just to put in my crease as a transition, transition shade on my already dirty brush I cleaned my brushes the other day to be fair I used them that day that's why they're already dirty um if you can't tell already, I have a wide angle lens on. That's why the door looks like that. Um, I thought 
thought it would be better because it's not as close up into my face but we'll see when I'm editing this next I'm going to take pumpkin because that is the time of year pumpkin's just this one here and put that just in the corner and blend it out in a second that is what we've got so far don't ask why I'm so weird it just happens And then, if I can find a different brush, I will use a different brush, but I don't know where my brush is. There it is. Why are you in front of me? So, this one was the base shadow brush. I like this for blending. I do have the other one, but I prefer this one. Because it's more flexible. I don't know what colour I'm going to go in with next, but I'm just going to put the colour Danger in my outer corner just to darken it a bit. I don't know if you can tell a difference, but it's there. It is in there. And it is darker. And yes, I'm using the mirror in this palette now because apparently the massive mirror next to me isn't good enough. I do this a lot. So this is what you got so far. And then with my finger, I am going to take. I think I'm gonna take smoky bronze on my finger and just pop that. Just on the inner corner. This might be a bad idea. Oh, I don't know if that was a bad idea or not. And then we're just going to take a brush and make sure it's blended all together. I don't know if you can see. That. But yeah, all the colours are on. <laughs> and then I'm going to take fairy lights and just pop that in me in a corner. And then I'm going to take this brush, which I got from Superdrug. Which is just, I think it's one of their own brands. It's just a pencil brush because my other pencil brush is actually broken because I bent it. Don't shovel your makeup in together. And I'm just going to take some of Pumpkin and Danger mixed together and just run that under my eye. Oh, not in your eye though, that hurts. I always seem to get it in my eye. Right, and then we're going to put this away. Because we don't need it anymore. So we just in the box it goes. 
Then I'm going to go back to this palette. And I'm going to contour with the contour brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to mix. First I'm going to blow all the highlighter off because Um, I'm going to mix um, Warrior and Can't Deal. And put it in my contour because that's what you do with contour. So we're just going to close that back up again because we don't actually need it anymore at the minute. And I'm going to take the Revolution Ultra Bronze Bronzer on a blush brush because why not? At the minute, I like my makeup looks very bronze. As you can tell. I And this is how you look after that. You know, cute. And then we don't need this anymore, so. Bye bye. I hope I didn't smash that, to be honest. It's time for lashes. Um, recently, I've been getting into curling my lashes. I never used to do it. I just think it never was that. Never was a point of doing it. But now I see that there is, so let's go these eyelashes. And then I'm just going to take that sensational mascara from Maybelline and pop that on a bit. So it holds the curl. I'm also going to pop it on my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to do the same to the other side. I always find that one side of my eyelashes curls better than the other. Oh, we're just gonna pretend that was part of it. We're gonna add some eyelashes because why not? So I bought this the hashtag la lash add it travel thing from Primark I think it was like three four pound and I just got foundation over it um and all I have in here at the minute is Primark lashes so I've got the natural ones and the intense ones I'm gonna be using the intense ones today because they are actually cut to the right size so <laughs> out here first my voice is gone I'm going to add some glue oh my god my glue is all that stuck my glue was stuck to everything in my makeup bag 
when I got it out a minute ago, which isn't great. And then you're just going to attempt to put them on. And this is where I actually need the mirror, so I was... thousand years later I did, it. I did it so that is one done <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> oh. now I've got to do another one though I'm just gonna brace myself later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one right so that took about three hours um so now that's done i'm just gonna add a bit more mascara to my bottom lashes just to make them a bit bigger my inner corners are not cooperating right now done everything with them i just hit the camera next up i'm going to spray my face with revolution pro fixer this is an oil control fixing spray and i'm going to spray that all over my face And then I'm going to add some highlight. Wow. <laughs> Don't taste it. Wow, it's still wet. So I'm adding limited edition from the Imagination palette. And now I'm going to go and get a lipstick because I didn't bring one. So that's the highlight. I just popped some in my inner corner as well because I didn't think that um, one that I put in earlier really did anything. So I just popped that in the inner corner. And now I'm going to go find some lipstick. Um, I bought a set from Primark of lipsticks, they're like the mini ones, like this, um, and, I can't hold them all, and I'm so out of breath running up and down the stairs, um, they're for the nude ones, so they're all nude, and, and we're going to decide together what one is going to go with this look. I don't think they have names. But 
they're kind of like moussey in texture mm. so these are the first two that is that one and that is that one um i'm gonna say this one is a no because i feel like for this look it's too pink so we'll put that one to the side and then that is the next one it's a bit dark but we can work with that that one's too dark that one's like brown so it's out of these two I think we're gonna go for this one which is this one I, I hope it's this one anyway so I'm just gonna pop that on my lips like so And normally before I start my makeup, I would put, this looks attractive, um, but normally before I start my makeup, I would put um, lip balm on, so it's sinking into my lips, because these, the formula of these are quite dry. I think I just got like my hair. Um, that eyelash is coming off already, so that was worth the time that was spent on it. Anyway, this is the finished autumn look. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I kind of did something different to what I would normally do. Um. I'm going to try and not edit this one as much as I would a normal makeup routine as well. Generally because I know this one's been quite a quick one. I didn't really know what I was doing but I had an idea in mind. I knew it was going to be an orangey kind of look. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And like and subscribe because i see you people who aren't subscribed to me but still watch my videos i see you i'll give you a close of the finished look you don't do that so here are the eyes and that highlight oh that that's cute isn't it just Blend in a bit more. I just finished this video and was packing everything away and realised I didn't finish spray and sprayed my face at the end. So normally I would do that. So I'm just gonna do that now. I know I already did it, but I like to spray it to make sure everything's. Yeah. 